has his re-entry shields on, as Charlie Green used to call those. This Five in the first sector on the inside, then three in the outside sector. They'll stay in those sectors until they've completed two laps, or and two this, turns, I should say. This is an event where it's really anyone's title to take. You see so many guys dashing right up there to the front. You're seeing Clemson's Therese Roden get right into the thick of things and push the pace just a bit with Navasky Anderson going right with him. Anderson was the NCAA runner-up at 800 meters last outdoor season, breaking a 45-year-old Jamaican record in the process. If this were a European outdoor meet, I'd say those two guys are the first two rabbits. But this is a championship, and they are running for real as Navasky Anderson, last year's SEC outdoor champion, takes the lead and takes the group through 50.5, and he's starting to walk, run away from Therese Roden. He really raced sparingly this indoor season, opened with a mile in late January, won his only open 800 meter of the year at the Music City Invite, which lowered his Jamaican indoor record. It is all Navasky Anderson, and will he pay the price? Can Roden gather a response? No, it is Navasky Anderson who is really just dominating here. Here comes a charge from the Texas duo. Creighton Corosa and Yusuf Bizimana. Bizimana, the top returner in the field, having placed fourth at the NCAA Indoor Championships last year. But Navasky Anderson is way out up front. How will that altitude affect him on the closing kick? It's Bizimana in chasing, and you can see the turnover for Anderson starting to fail him. The strength come through. Anderson moves out. Ooh, I don't know if that might be a foul on Anderson for blocking him. We'll have to see. Yellow flag is up. There's a yellow flag up. I'm afraid you cannot do that. You can't impede a runner's opportunity to get to the finish line. He probably didn't even need to do it. But that is going to be a conversation that the coaches will have. Anderson right now, the winner in 145.90. Let's take a look at how it played out in that last 100 meters. Bizimana finds an opportunity to start reeling Anderson in. He goes for it in great position there, charging. And there you can see the big push that's driving Bizimana all the way out into the outside of lane three. Swings that long arm out and in front of him, Bizimana tumbles down to the track as Navasky Anderson dives for the finish. So the results are unofficial and potentially Temporary. Navasky Anderson winning it in 145.90. Yusuf Bizamana coming from nowhere with 146.02. And we will certainly update you later once we have heard what has been decided between the coaches and the games committee. Back in Albuquerque, here are the men's team standings after 12 events, taking into consideration that Navasky Anderson was disqualified in the 800. Arkansas five ahead of Washington. Texas Tech now moving up the board with 29. Texas got a lot of points in that men's 800 meters with that win by Bizimana.